Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I'm the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot. I'm here to give you your weekly. Here to give you your weekly forecast. Excuse me, guys. I've been uh, out sick with a cold, and I'm recovering from that, so my voice is not great. Also, where I live, it's negative 23 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It takes a lot of energy just to heat this room where I do the do my readings, and. Um, it's uh, yeah, it takes a lot of uh, energy just to to get going here and to heat the room. So, I would um, I would really appreciate it if you can, if you can, if you would, um, if you want to leave a donation, um, even if it's just a dollar. And if you don't want to, I totally understand. That's fine, but it really does help out. Um, like I said, it just takes a lot of energy to. Um, heat the room where I do my readings, um, and uh, I've got um, tremendous, uh, tremendous faith and support from my subscribers already, so please know that I um, completely understand if that's not something that you want to do, or if that's annoying to you, um, I'm, I apologize, but it would really help me out. It's been really tough, it's been really tough um, this week in particular, um, with the temperatures being so low, and um, just been under the weather so if you do want to help out with the channel if you want to leave a donation I would greatly appreciate it link is up at the top um, on the far right of the channel um, on the far right of my channel header uh, you'll see a donate button all right guys um, if you don't want to watch me shuffle I've timestamped below in the comments area but um, Scorpio this is your weekly forecast from February 4th through the 10th of 2019 for all Scorpio suns, moons, and risings, Scorpio's on the house cusp, and Scorpio's on the house cusp. I'm using the Game of Thrones Tarot deck by Chronicle Books. We're going to look at six cards today. Scorpio, how do you see yourself today? What is the theme for you this week? What is the big picture? What is something that Scorpio has already learned that will be useful for them to remember this week? What is Scorpio's challenge this week? What is a lesson they are learning now and a gift they will receive? Scorpio. Scorpio, February 4th through the 10th, 2019. Scorpio, February 4th through the 10th, 2019. What do they need to know, Spirit? Please give me six cards for Scorpio. Scorpio, February 4th through the 10th. And one more for Scorpio, please. Let's do one more. That wasn't a good one. Bonus shuffle for Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you would, hit that subscribe button. Uh, like and share, comment below, please. It really does help out the channel and uh, lets me know that you guys are are uh, paying attention, uh, enjoying the readings, and want to see more of them. Okay. Scorpio, how you see yourself today? We have the Six of Cups in reverse. All right, so some of you are um, thinking about your past, okay, or someone from your past. And the thing is, is that when you look back, you tend, or it could be about a specific person or even an experience, you tend to bring the more negative memories with you into the present as opposed to the good memories. So this can be a bitterness, a feeling of, uh, you know, even... Instead of being, instead of a bittersweet memory, it's more of it left a bitter taste in your mouth and you're holding a grudge. Okay, this can be with regards to a soulmate or someone from the past. Uh, maybe uh, just left a bad taste in your mouth. Okay, so a theme for you this week, Scorpio, in the big picture is the star. And this has been coming up a lot because we are in Aquarius season and this is my Aquarius card. So the theme for you this week is to really um, dig deep. Um, in terms of your faith, uh, the star represents hope, your connection to astrology, you know, your 
being divinely guided, having spiritual protection, even healing, rejuvenation, rejuvenating your spirit. So this is a great week for you to really get in touch with your faith, to practice healing modalities, um, especially when it comes to, you know, uh, when it comes to healing, I definitely recommend water therapy. I recommend uh, meditation and tapping into your um, crown chakra, you know, your higher self, listening to your higher self and know that you are being divinely guided. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius as well, or will be dealing with an Aquarius this week, um, but it, it does look quite positive. All right, so they want you to have hope. They want you to have faith. Keep the faith. Something that you have already learned that will be useful for you to remember this week. We have another six, the six of swords. All right, so uh, this can be issues with transportation, specifically across water, but it can also be staying stuck on a trauma or psychological trauma, not moving, being able to move past something. And I'm, I'm kind of getting that message here. Um, think back to your past when have you felt stuck and not able, been able to move forward? When have you um, kind of maybe even got in your own way a little bit? Okay, um, here we have someone who is not healed psychologically from a past trauma. And instead of moving forward, instead of being able to leave the past behind even, um, they're stuck in the past or they are not able to let go of something. So if this is something that you've already learned, um, it seems connected to your present. Um, what has happened when you have stayed uh, stagnant and have not allowed yourself to move forward? Um, what did you do in that situation that allowed you to heal? So you, you want to think back to perhaps a similar situation. Your challenge this week uh, Scorpio is the judgment card in reverse okay so this is telling me that someone or something here requires forgiveness this can even be you um, needing to forgive um, what we have here is a situation where you're not accepting responsibility for the role that we played we may be placing blame or criticizing others we may be placing blame our, on ourselves and criticizing ourselves, um, but it's preventing us from moving forward, okay? There's um, a level of unforgiveness here that I'm seeing, uh, not being able to forgive, being very judgmental, very critical, not giving someone a second chance. And uh, you have to ask yourself, how, what is that accomplishing for you currently? Um, what is that uh, producing by feeling that way, by holding on to that emotion? What is that creating for you currently? Um, there's a lesson there for you in terms of moving on past, uh, the, letting go of the past and, and accepting responsibility and forgiving yourself and others. The lesson you are learning now, Scorpio, we have four of spears in reverse. Um, usually this has to do with disruptions around the home or family, not feeling comfortable maybe in your home environment or even someone having left the home for more freedom. This can be you. Um, I'm seeing also issues with stability, the home life, your home life, possibly even the family. This can be a private celebration as well. There's a lesson for you around your home family and stability this week and what it is that you need in order to create that space to make that stable to have stability to um, how do you and if this is someone else that has left the home like this has left you feeling unstable or it's creating instability in your home environment. Uh, there's a lesson for you there in how to neutralize it, possibly. Okay. But it 
does require forgiveness and it does require you to only bring the good memories with you forward. Gift you will receive this week in the uh, here font. Okay, so the here font is like a teacher. Uh, he can be a teacher of sorts. Um, this is also someone that morally and ethically wants to do the right thing. They're very conscien conscientious about you know living um, within the expectations of society, following the rules. Um, you may receive a mentor or a teacher this week or be in a position where you can teach someone a lesson. You have to ask yourself though at the end of the day, am I the student or am I the teacher? And if you're the teacher, are your lessons, um, can you break your lessons down so that they're easy for your students to learn? And I mean that in the widest sense um, because in life we are all put in situations where we can teach people things and um, I feel that someone here is being perhaps unnecessarily harsh or perhaps I'm trying to teach someone a lesson um, but it's uh, maybe not the right way to do it however I feel like you will um, you will be learning something uh, your gift has to do with knowledge it has to do with teaching it has to do with possibly a mentor or being in a position where you are able to teach someone a lesson, okay? And, or you are the student and you are going to be learning something very important from this experience. Either way, it looks positive. Um, and I feel that people will be looking up to you, are looking up to you. So it's important that you set a good example. Yes? All right, Scorpio, that is your weekly reading, uh, weekly forecast. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your love support. If you want to make a donation, it's greatly appreciated, but it is not expected or required. So thank you. I uh, hope you have a wonderful week. Sending you off with love and light. Bye.